is Friday. This weekend is Easter. That's what the world tells us. And, uh, but the fact for us as believers, we should celebrate the resurrection of the Lord every Sunday. And every week that we live should be a holy week unto the Lord. Just saying. Uh, but some people have designated today as Good Friday. Well, let's examine that real quick. Let's look back at the last week of Christ. We'll start with Thursday, the ninth day of Nizan, uh, on the Jewish calendar. Let us walk you through. On that day, and a, a Jewish day started at sunset and went to the following day, sunset. So we'll start at Thursday, the ninth day of Nizan, uh, from sunset to Friday, sunset. On that day, you'll find in Luke chapter number 19, Jesus spending the day with Zacchaeus. Um, and then he will return to Bethany in John chapter number 12, which gets us to Friday at sunset. Then the 10th day of Nizam, Friday uh, sunset to Saturday sunset. Here, uh, the Lord, of course, will spend the Sabbath day uh, there at Bethany. It is on that Sabbath day, the 10th day of Nizam, that Mary will anoint the feet of Jesus in John chapter number 12. Saturday sunset ends, and we have Saturday sunset to Sunday sunset. That is the 11th day of Nizan. This day uh, is the trial, triumphal entry of Christ in John chapter number 12 and in Mark chapter number 11. He will spend the day there in Jerusalem and then return to Bethlehem. Uh, I'm sorry, Bethany, according to Mark in chapter number 11 and verse number 11. That takes us to Sunday sunset. On the 12th day of Nizan, uh, which, of course, we're talking from Sunday sunset to Monday sunset. Uh, this is when the Lord returns to Jerusalem. And in Matthew chapter 21, he curses the fig tree. And in John chapter number 12, a large group of Greeks uh, come and try to approach the Lord Jesus Christ. On the 13th day of Nizam, that's Monday sunset to Tuesday sunset, uh, he returns to Jerusalem in Matthew chapter 21 and in verse number 23 is then he gives what we've called the Olivet Discourse, and starting in Matthew chapter number 24. So in that evening, Tuesday sunset, uh, at uh, Simon the leper's house, where he has supper, according to Matthew chapter number 26. On the 14th day of Nissan, which would be uh, Tuesday sunset to Wednesday sunset, this would be the day of the crucifixion, according to Luke chapter 22 and Mark chapter number 14, which calls specifically the first day of unleavened bread, which we know to be the 14th day of Nissan, which is the Tuesday uh, sunset to Wednesday sunset. That Tuesday sunset, that evening, is when he would wash the disciples' feet. Uh, he would institute the Lord's Supper. He then would go in at night to the Garden of Gethsemane. He would be arrested, what we would call that Tuesday night. He would have a mockery of a trial and then be let out to be crucified. According to the Bible, this would be that Wednesday morning in the third hour, 9 a.m., Jesus would be crucified on that Wednesday. He then would die uh, during the ninth hour, which we know to be 3 p.m. on that Wednesday. He would be buried that Wednesday before sunset. Then he would have the 15th day of Nissan is Wednesday sunset to Thursday sunset. It was during this time, uh, which would be his first day in the grave. Then the 16th day of Nissan, Thursday sunset to Friday sunset, would be his second day in the grave. Then Friday sunset to Saturday sunset would be the uh, 18th day of Nissan in which he would spend his third day in the grave, three days, but then three nights. He would then spend uh, that, what we would see as Saturday from sunset to Sunday morning, that third night in the grave, in which he would arose that Sunday morning. So as we approach this weekend, rejoice in the resurrection of Christ. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, if it were not for the resurrection, our faith would be in vain. And so I'm not trying to pull hairs here and make a big deal, but the Lord is crucified on Wednesday. He arose on Sunday morning. That's why we meet and rejoice together every Sunday morning. And so 
it's a good Friday, sure. But I also encourage you to have a, a terrific Thursday and a wonderful Wednesday and a super Saturday. The Sunday's the Savior's. And rejoice with him this weekend. If you don't attend another church, join us. We'd love to have you Sunday morning, 11 o'clock.